are one decision away from changing your life. And you have to accept that. You're one new meeting, one new relationship, one new contact, one new action, one new decision away from shifting your life from where it is right now to a totally different place. Decisions shape our destiny when they're backed up by some massive ass action. But you can't take the action if you don't decide. People avoid being desperate. Think the fact that they come here tonight and they're down. They're not where they want to be financially. The relationships aren't what they want. Maybe they're in a desperate place and you might think that's a negative thing. But when you're in a desperate place, you take the best actions. Desperation is a great place to be. Those of you that are achieving, one of the reasons the achievement is slowed down is you've allowed yourself to feel less desperate. You're strong enough and your life is worth whatever you have to go through to get past this addiction. Whatever you have to do, this dream you got, whatever you want to do, will it be easy to just run out there and do it? No. Will it happen overnight? No. Will it be a struggle? Yes. Will there be times when you can't make ends meet? Yes, that's a part of it. Will there be times you won't know what to do? Yes, that's a part of it. See, when you accept yourself and you accept fear as a fact, that means that it's something that happens, it's something that you're going to experience, but it is not a force to hold you back. It doesn't have any special power other than that that you give it. So you accept the fact that you are afraid, and then you move on anyhow. You move on past it, and you do whatever you've got to do. And one of the things that you've got to do is you've got to watch your inner conversation and discipline your thinking and your imagination, because if you don't, your mind will take you on a wild trip. When you remove desperation, all this bullshit creeps into your life where you think you have to have the perfect plan and look the perfect way and have the perfect thoughts and be all zen and perfect. The challenge for most people is that we obsess on the things we're fearful of, what we don't have, what we're worried about. And then we end up possessing those things over and over again rather than programming ourselves to become obsessed with what we want, what our dreams are, what we believe we deserve. We become obsessed about those things. Long term, we end up possessing those things. Yet most of us don't replace the external parts of our lives. Because those things happen naturally without thought. The external results of our life, in order to replace ourselves with the next best version, requires intention, requires obsession, requires desperation. So it's not unnatural to change. You should constantly be replacing yourself just like your bones do, just like your lungs do like your cells do. It's natural to be replacing ourselves, but we're around people who aren't, so we think it's natural not to. The way that I changed my life first, I worked on my identity. And strengthening yourself in that area, as you assess your strengths and your weaknesses, as you begin to prove yourself and your passions and your dreams and your goals and the things that you want, if you decide to experience all of your true potential, if you decide to manifest all of your greatness, you decide, wait a minute, what, what else is available to me out here? If I decided to experience the fear of rejection, the fear of no, the fear of failure, the fear of, of standing by myself, what else is available? Of taking a chance, the fear of losing it all, what else is available to me that will bring some extra meaning and value? The fear of people not liking me. You know how many people do things they don't want to do because they want everybody to like them? Everybody's not going to like you. No, that's it's, it's just not that kind of world. What, but you know, there are a lot of people who won't take positions on issues, who won't take a stand for things they believe in, who won't speak up for themselves because they don't want to make anybody mad. Your identity is the thoughts, concepts, and beliefs that you hold to be most true about yourself. This is how it works. This is how life works. So winning is about 75% psychology, about 25% mechanics. You can't get the psychology part right. You can do all the actions perfectly. And you've proven this to yourself several times. I'm still not putting the results you want. Here's why. Your identity is like a thermostat setting for your entire life. You have a thermostat setting for your relationships, for your faith, for your money, for your wellness, for your body, for your spirituality. So you can't get out over your skis. Can't exceed your identity long term, it'll never happen. This is why people's lives yo yo up and down because they always work on the external mechanics and not the internal identity of their lives. It discovers your happiness, your peace, your fitness, your money, all of it. 